Tezza is a very creative company. They asked After School All-Stars, what do you guys need help with? What do you need funded that nobody else will fund? And we came to them with this idea of creating a TED-style conference. We're here thanks to Tezza, and there's a lot of great things happening here. This group is purposely small. We designed this, this whole retreat meeting to be very small and intimate. Uh, the title of, of my presentation is called Awakening Their Passions and Dreams. So you want to work here, tell me why. Life service action. Emergency procedures in after-school All-Stars programming. What's going to be the driving force that's going to make our program? successful. This year we wanted to um, gather a small group of our real leaders in the network who are doing um, innovative things with programming and those are the people that are here presenting with us today in TED Talk style format and then we have some interactive discussion groups to get them together. When we're talking about enrichment the potential impact on a student's life can be huge. Our students are getting a full meal every day. They get a hot meal once uh, once a week and all other four days it's a cold meal. What we do in Las Vegas is we've created a few all-girls things girls empowerment. I have lost students to gun violence because the culture still remains in the middle school system. What are the skills that a kid needs that drives them to want to acquire the, the hard skills like math, algebra, you know, literacy. One of our schools is in the parking lot, literally, um, of a shopping center. How do you measure success? Like, for some kids, it's not going to be finishing school. For some kids, it's going to be surviving the streets, period. Tomorrow, we're going to Stuart Hobson Middle School, and we're going to be doing four different activities with the kids in our after-school program. Sometimes we might have to achieve something as a collective, as a team, as a group. And the same ways you would do that on the court are the ways that you do it off the court. Well, our idea was to have a Valentine's Day dance, and it would be called From Stuart Hobson with Love. Like with a movie, like a, you know how they do movie premieres? Yeah. A movie premiere, so do a movie premiere. For every single one of the people I've seen here interacting and taking part, this is more than just a job, it's something they really believe in. Um, and that's pretty inspirational. I can see as a group of leaders um, that, you know, you are very blessed with, um, with people who are able to motivate the people who work with them and I can see from that why this is such a successful program. Thank you, Ted!